Venezuelans take to the streets, protesting Sunday's vote. The Democratic coalition is claiming the Maduro regime rigged the election, intentionally causing ballot and polling confusion to hurt the opposition vote. The government says the ruling Socialist Party won 17 governorships, while the Democratic-led coalition only took five seats. And that's despite projections from independent pollsters that predicted a majority, a major victory rather, for the opposition. Yeah, and now opposition leaders are calling for an international independent audit. Local 10's Cody Weddle reports exclusively from Venezuela. Partido Socialista Unido de Venezuela. State after state, Venezuela's Electoral Commission president reading the results to gubernatorial elections. A shocking win for the Venezuelan government, 17 of 23 governorships. President Maduro immediately taking to state TV, declaring victory. Polls had projected the opposition would win overwhelmingly as Venezuelans continue to suffer their country's worst ever economic crisis. Here in Zulia State, one of the only five opposition victories. Nada que celebrar. The candidate saying, we don't have anything to celebrate today. The country is calling for change. His fellow opposition candidates immediately suggesting the results could be fraudulent. The government winning some states long considered opposition territory. <laughs> This, the reaction from the socialist candidate winning Miranda State, the state that saw the heaviest protests this year in Caracas. La mesa de la democrática tiene fallas estructurales. Today in Venezuela, the opposition is failing when it comes to elections because they don't have witnesses at all polling stations. Political scientist Jesus Castillo saying it will be difficult to produce hard evidence of fraud, but hinting it may have occurred. Today, around the country's second largest city of Maracaibo, many trying to explain what had seemed like a nearly impossible government victory. This man saying we could see this coming. People didn't vote because they weren't motivated. But this woman saying this was a fraud. It really seems like it. How was this possible? And today, the U.S. State Department responding to these elections, saying these elections were neither free or fair. Many analysts now believe we could expect more sanctions now from both the U.S. government and the European Union. But whether that would really have an impact here on the government is doubtful, as so far no sanctions have been able to, have been able to shake the government circle. Reporting live here in Maracaibo, I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.